Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning. Well, it's morning time for me. I don't know what time it is for you watching this video, but today I'm building a simple shelving system for my Leitner Designs active cargo system in the cargo boxes. So I have the rooftop tent and the active cargo system on the vehicle. And what I want to do is put some shelves in here because I carry a lot of camping gear, cast iron skillet, uh, cooking stove, tea kettle, um, French press, stuff like that. Just so you have all the gear when you're out camping, overlanding, although I haven't really done any overlanding. I don't really live in an area where uh, you can get into that a lot. I guess if I went up to the North Georgia mountains, I could, but I mostly go camping. So I wanted to document just a simple shelving system. So I'm gonna walk over here, I'll show you. I have just a scrap piece of plywood. I've already taken some measurements inside the cargo box. So there's my piece of plywood that is dirty. So I'll need to clean that off. I might paint it. I don't know yet. I'm not that worried about it. Cause again, this is just for camping. So I've already taken some measurements inside here this top uh lip out to the um well from the back of the box to the lip hold on let me adjust this camera from the back of the box to the lip here is nine inches the height of the box is 13 and then the depth from the back up to this lip right here where the, the lock attaches is 14 inches. Uh, so I have my measurements there. And then I'm going to try and run a shelf about, I want three tiers. So I want to be able to lay stuff on the bottom. I'll have a, a first shelf here so I can have a middle slot and then a second shelf to stack stuff up top. Uh, so, cause I want to put my camping stove on the bottom, my cast iron skillet on the top or the middle, excuse me, and then some plates on the, the top. So I need to run a shelf about 13 and a half inches from this back out, and then about 11 and a half inches from the back out a little higher. So like I said, I already have those measurements and I'm gonna make some cuts and see if we can put together something pretty simple. Actually, we're gonna make a correction to those measurements because I just noticed little protrusions here I'm gonna go about 12 and a half instead of 13 and a half inches and then up here I'm gonna go about 10 and 3 quarter inches uh, just to compensate for this protrusion because I am trying to run the shelving along the uh, left side of the box there so I'm gonna go uh, actually I'll show you the little blueprint that I drew just so you can kind of see what I'm doing it's very simple I'm only gonna have four pieces of wood I'll have a two vertical pieces and two horizontal pieces to create my shelving. So here's my rough sketch here. Again, super simple. Um, just so you can make sense of it. I'll have these two horizontal pieces here. So I have the 14 inch depth, 13 inch height, nine inch depth across the top, two of those. And then I will have uh, one shelf I actually wrote two X there, so that's wrong. I'm going to have one shelf that's 12 and a half inches by 17 inches and one shelf that's 10 and three quarter inches by 17 inches width. So ignore the two X because that's wrong, but I do need two X of this vertical piece here. So super simple. Hope that makes sense to everyone. Maybe once I, or if it doesn't, once I put it together, maybe it'll make more sense to you. I made my measurements here. Oh, hopefully you can see. So this section here is gonna be my vertical pieces. So I just made it into one square 
and then divided it. So I have my nine inch section across the top. This is also the nine inch section across the top, 14 across the bottom, 14 across the bottom, and then 13 inch height. So once I cut that out, these will be my two vertical pieces. And then I've cut my two shelves or measured my two shelves here. So uh, this rectangle here is the 10 and three quarters depth with a 17 inch width. And then this is the 12 and a half inch depth with the 17 inch width. So that should give me my two shelves creating three compartments within the cargo box. I'm gonna go grab the skill saw and get some screws and cut all these pieces out. Got my pieces cut here. So we got vertical side, and the vertical side here. And then here's my top shelf. Here's my lower shelf. Uh, let's see. It should be able to, yeah. So it's like this will go up to right around there. I may have to trim that a little bit because I want to make sure I can fit my camping stove underneath there. I really did not measure the stove. I just kind of guesstimated. So hopefully, uh, Hopefully it works. I don't know. I mean, I'll grab the stove and try it. See what it looks like. So here's a rough assembly. I haven't screwed anything down, but I wanted to kind of put it in here and look at it dry fit before I go ahead and screw everything together. One thing I did not take into account, which is probably something to pay attention to, is the cargo box has these beveled, let me get my hand out of the way, these beveled ridges right here. So the width that I cut, the 17 inches, actually makes it a little hard for me to get it, uh, get the shelving level because with it 17 inches, this side piece sits on a bevel. This side does not, it's lower. And I still wanna have access to my um, arm here to hold the, the cargo box door open. So if I shift, if I shift everything over, then I can get it all to sit on the flat section, but then it's a really narrow fit. Like it's, it's hard to get your hand inside here to grab that little arm. So I think what I'm gonna do is screw it together. I'm gonna make some marks uh, with it sitting up and or I could try and find a scrap piece of plywood that raises this piece up so it does sit uh, sit flush. I might grab the scrap piece of plywood and try that, but I think what I'll end up doing is I'll just have this piece be lower and this be higher. I don't really plan on moving this. I like having my kitchen set up right here. Uh, I kind of designate this side as my entire kitchen setup, so I don't really see the, the need for me to move this. I could always swap it to the other side and it would still fit uh, in the left corner on the other side of the cargo box. Um, so yeah, I'm not too worried about it, but just something to keep in mind if you're planning on doing something like this. Everything's drilled together. 
looks good. It's pretty level. Let's see if I can change the camera angle here. I got my measurements correct. Uh, I found this non-slip material at the thrift store. It's a few dollars. So I went ahead and cut some strips of that. That way the cast iron skillet doesn't slide inside the cargo box. Same for the plate up top or plates. I just stapled it down with a staple gun. I'm not too worried about this looking fancy or anything. Again, this is just for camping. So I'm not trying to build like anything super fancy. Uh, just very simple. I also found this at the thrift store to hold silverware. Um, my plan is, is to mount it on the side right here. So I'm gonna have to trim it down on the top and the bottom, but I'd like to be able to hold some forks and spoons vertically right here. I think it's a good solution. Again, this was just a few dollars at the thrift store. So just trying to reuse uh, anything that I find to make this build a little bit more convenient while you're camping. Got the shelving in. So I've got my stove on the bottom, uh, plate in the middle shelf, and cast, cast iron skillet across the top with the non-slip pads. So these actually, I mean that, it does not move really at all. Same for the skillet. It's pretty steady, so I feel good about that while driving. I ended up using the blocks down here to balance it out because of the beveled sections. Uh, I am going to mount that silverware holder on the side here, but uh, for this video, I just wanted to go ahead and get the shelving in, show you what it looked like. I think it came out pretty good. Everything closes, sits flush. That's a little rough with the plywood, but I'm not too worried about it. Step back and you can kind of see here kind of how it fits into the cargo box. Hopefully the shadow's not too uh, overbearing so you can actually see. But yeah, just creates a little bit more organization inside the box. Still have this right side over here to put other kitchen utensils and uh, fill up the box. So let me get out of these bushes. Appreciate everybody watching the video. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following along with me on this journey of building this truck out, building the Forerunner out. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, tap that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. I'm having fun making these videos, kind of sharing this content with the world. So yeah, I just really appreciate it. Thank you. If you like the video, leave a comment, talk to me. I'd love the engagement. I hope everybody's doing good out there and catch you on the next one.